Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Sunny Kuswai and today we are going to talk about the Netron that is a model visualization tool. Okay, so Netron is a Python library which help us to visualize or see the internal structure of our machine learning model. So whenever we have any deep learning model and we want to know the what is the exact internal neural network structure inside of that model and what are all the different layers are used inside of that neural network and what are all parameters passed at the each layer for that we can use a Netron library okay so here you can see that this kind of network visualization will get with the help of a Netron library so I'm just quickly going to show you that how we can use this Netron library to visualize the internal structure of any machine learning model okay so this Netron library is a completely open source you can find its code over here so you can see that this is the github repository of a Netron and they have also provided the guideline about how we can install and make use of this Netron library. They have also provided some sample models over here. You can just download it and you can use it to visualize the structure of this model with the help of this Netron library. Okay, so now quickly let me go to the PyCharm ID and show you that how to install a Netron and how we can visualize the internal structure of a model with the help of this Netron library. So I'm going to my PyCharm ID and let me just create one new project with name like a uh, project Netron. Okay, so let me just name like project Netron and let me create one new project. Okay, so it will take some time to create a new project and virtual environment and once it created we'll try to install this Netron and we'll try to use it. Okay, so here you can see that our project is now created and this is the default code provided by the PyCharm. So let me remove it. Okay, now first of all, let's go and install this Netron library. So I'm going to terminal and with the help of a package manager, I'm going to install this Netron library. So let me just type Netron and enter okay so with the help of pip install netron i'm installing it it is a very small package it installed very quickly so now let me just go and import this netron library so let me type import netron and it will provide me the netron and after that we have to make use of this netron start method and this start method takes input as our machine learning model file okay so let me just pass our machine learning model file so i'm just going to my backend system where I have already downloaded a couple of models so let me just go and just copy the path of any one of the model okay so I'm just going to the Netron folder and here you can see that I'm having a couple of models like chessbot mobile net model and I'm also having cafe model and this quiz net model okay so let me just make use of this quiz net so let me just copy its complete path and let me just pass it to the netron start method okay so this is a complete path and now let me just copy the file name too so this is the model file which i want to pass okay so you can see i am just passing the model file name okay so here you can see that this is the netron library i have imported and to this netron library start method i am passing my machine learning model okay so this is the squeeze net model i have just passed and now i am going to run this code so it will show me the visualization so i am just quickly going to run it okay so we are getting some errors so what it is saying in escape cannot decode byte position and malform slash n character escape okay so you can see that inside of my file name I indirectly form the escape character like slash n so let me just add one more slash so it will not consider this slash n as a new line so i'm just going to pass one more slash to ignore this escape character okay so now let me just quickly try to run it okay so now you can see that our program is running and here you can see that Netron is getting loaded on my local system and here we are getting the structure of the my model which I have just provided okay so you can see that whatever model I have provided so let me just go back to the ID and quickly show you so this is the model file I have provided and you can see that it is prepared the structure and hosted on my local machine and this is the same link to which we are getting redirected so let me just again click on this and here you can see that this is the link okay so you can see that here our model structure is loaded and you can see this is the convocational layer activation function max pool and so on so if i just keep scrolling i'll find the whole complete structure of this model okay if i want to see some more details i can go on the menu option on left hand side you can see here if i just click on menu so you can try out this all option so if i just want to see the name of each layer then i can just click on this show names and i'll be able to see that each layer name okay so you can see that convocational one underscore one and so on and if I want to zoom it, then I can just make use of this plus. And if I want to 
zoom out then i will just click on this minus magnifying glass okay so this way you will be able to see it so you can see here that it is a very lengthy uh, structure we are not able to view in one shot because uh, actually it is a very big machine learning model so it has a very big neural network structure inside of it if you pass our small machine learning model then in that case we will be able to see it in the one view with a couple of our layers which we have used in that model okay so this way we can pass any machine learning model and we will be able to visualize its complete neural network structure and all the activation functions dropping layers pooling layers and convocational layers and everything okay we will be able to also see the all the attributes which are passing at the each layer if i just click on this show attributes so you can see that here i am getting the all the attributes so at the convocational layer i am just passing here the kernel shape as a 3 3 pads as a 0 0 0 0 and strides as a 2 2 okay so similar way you will be able to find it at a, each layer so you can just go here and explore some more options and if you want to save this whatever the visualization we got over here so let's consider that we want to save this actual visualization structure so in that case we can just go to the menu option over here and we have an option to export as png okay so if i just click on that it will export this all model structure in the png format and if i now just open it i'll be able to see this all the visualization in the image let me just zoom it out so we'll get a better idea okay so this way we will be able to export this model structure too so now let me just close it and go back to my code here i can pass the any model file and i'll be able to see the its internal structure and the all details okay so now here we have just installed this netron library on our system and we have written a two line of code to visualize this model structure but if you don't want to install on your system if you want to see it online then this netron is also hosted online on the netron.app okay so if you just visit the netron.app you will see the, this kind of a user interface and here you will get a button to open the model okay it means that by clicking on this we can pass our model to this hosted netron.app and this netron.app it will provide us the complete visualization of the internal structure of that model so let me just select this chatbot model and pass it to this online hosted netron.app site so you can see that it is preparing the visualization and you can see that this is the actual model visualization so you can see that these are all the different layers inside of that model and you can see that this is a very small so you will be able to see it Okay, so this way you can make a use of this Netron Python library to visualize the internal structure or the neural network structure of your machine learning model. Okay, so that's it about the Netron Python library or the machine learning tool which help us to visualize our machine learning model. Okay, so hope you like this information. If yes, then please hit on the like button, subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions or doubt in the mind, then just mention to the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. Stay safe, stay happy, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.